Then check this out. Now that we know what is XAMPP server and we have installed the XAMPP server, I will show you around the way how you can actually find your XAMPP server on your computer, how you can put applications on XAMPP server. Let's start by opening our XAMPP server. If you have icon like this as you see here at the very bottom which I'm pointing now on it's like a bone button on orange it's, it will say exam control panel if you don't have it on your desktop or anywhere I will show you where you can find it for the first time in your file system and where actually all your exam is installed now so what we need to do we just need to open any folder any folder at all you just open it and then you will look for this local disk or C just click on it. If you can't click on it at the very top, as you see, you can type in C, uh, column and backslash. And as you remember it from previous video when I was telling you where we are installing actually exam server, I remember I was showing you that this path C, column and backslash. And this is where our exam server, our this folder is installed and all applications from XAMPP are in this XAMPP folder. They are nowhere else on your computer, they are in here. And if we click in, in this XAMPP and now just right click to in this address bar, you will see that this is where we installed actually our XAMPP. And all PHP, MySQL, as you see here is MySQL folder. This is where your all MySQL is installed. Then you look for PHP MyAdmin and PHP MyAdmin is a graphical user interface or GUI for MySQL. So you don't have to use command line to access your MySQL, to work with your MySQL, to work with your database. That's why we have this PHP MyAdmin. And I will show you as well in one of the further videos how you can work with MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, how you can create databases, how you can delete databases, how you can write different queries in SQL. Next thing, as you see, we have PHP and we have Perl. Actually, everything what we have with exam is here. And let's go back to XAMPP, to this uh, first folder, click into XAMPP. And now when we are in XAMPP, you just scroll here down and you will find one icon which says XAMPP control panel. Just click on this, double click on this and it will open this XAMPP control panel on your desktop. What I always do, I always pin it at the very bottom on this, here on this taskbar, just if you haven't pinned it there, so I will now unpin this, I will show you how you can do this. You just go on this icon, right click on it and click pin this program to taskbar. So it's always here on this taskbar and you are always able to access it because Every next time when you will switch off your computer, you will have to start, if you would want to work with this server, you will need to start this Apache server. And if you work with database, you will need to start your MySQL database. If we now open, like open any of your favorite browsers, whatever you want, and type in local host, just type in local host, and you will see that nothing is really happening now. And this is because of reasons that this local host actually is switched off and this is why it's not working. As you see, it's turning, it's kind of searching for it, but it can't find it. And to activate it, you always, every time, like I said, you click on this icon, if you have it here at the very bottom, and you will need to start this Apache server. And if you are working with MySQL database, and if you will be just writing PHP scripts and working on your server, you will not need MySQL, MySQL but if you will, be working with database you can always start mysql as well what i always do i always start both of them just click this button start where is apache and as you see it straight away found this localhost dashboard and you can click on this mysql and it will start database as well and now i will show you why it actually opens this localhost dashboard you might ask why why now you can see this dashboard this is some website or anything at all no actually this is on your computer this is not a website but this is in your XAMPP folder and where we can find it is if we open this back up uh, as you remember now we are in XAMPP folder what you always will have to do if you would want to go there or save your applications you go to XAMPP 
and htdocs. This htdocs is the directory where all your files or your all your applications you will be ever uh, storing they will be in this folder or in this directory htdocs. So let's open it up and you will find here index.php file. And if you didn't know guys then first file whatever will be read in any directory when it's opened it is index.index file usually. And in PHP it is index.php file. That's why first thing what when when you are now typing in localhost and going on this address it accesses this file so let's open it up with notepad plus plus like right click edit with notepad plus plus and let's see what is happening here and as you see this is a php file here and what it does it's actually saying if there's no server activated then do this for example and if server is activated then open this directory dashboard so there should be another directory which is called dashboard as you see here is that directory and in this dashboard directory there that is kind of where all this information is coming from what i usually do i just delete this index file and i delete this file dashboard because i don't really need it i prefer saving my own projects here in this file or you could simply delete this uh, or let's edit this html file for now let's just use commenting multiple lines like forward slash under php sign and star if you don't want to delete it and at the big end of this script you could put another star sign and forward slash and this means that we just commented out all this script and it will not be running and what we would see now on text when, after, when we will save this file by clicking here save we could we will see on screen something is wrong with the XAMPP installation because this file will be accessed still so let's go back to our browser let's refresh let's refresh one more time so something is wrong just let's wait guy just a second guys ah actually this is because we are not going into a local host but we are going in that dashboard but we don't want to go into that dashboard because that index file was actually redirecting us from that index file into this dashboard directory just write in now localhost and hit enter and you see that something is wrong with XAMPP installation so what like I mentioned before what we what I usually do is I usually get rid of this index file at all because I prefer storing my own directories or my own applications in this htdocs as you see this is htdocs directory so just click on this and you can delete it like I did now and go on this index file and you can delete it as well so yes indeed no because I just deleted it and then there is no more that file and what happens now if we go back to our browser and now we type in localhost refresh it and you see it shows us this file system which is actual file system applications bitnami favicon image and if we go back we see pretty much this all here applications bitnami favicon and this is this actually redirects us directly into this thing but what we want to do we want to create websites and i will show you how you now can create applications in this and your applications like i mentioned before always will be stored in XAMPP, htdocs directory this is where your applications will be stored whether you uh, will be storing wordpress applications there will be folder for that application only the name like i will show you how it works in a second so let's create new folder now and let's create my site for example my web site one okay we just created a folder and I called it my website one and go out of it. And in this my website one, you just go in and actually what we will be doing, we will create another index file. So open your notepad or whatever you are uh, using and I will write, uh, I could write simple PHP script or I could write simple h1 tag. So I create simple HTML h1 tag and I will say hello I am site one. Oh, sorry one and save this and let's save it in this HD docs as you see oops sorry guys and this my website and let's save it as index dot 
index. You can save it as HTML file or you can save it as PHP file. When you usually you will be working with PHP, so let's save it as PHP. And let's save this file in this my site one. So now you if we go back to HDDocs, you see you have directory my website one. And if we go now to our browser, whatever browser you are using, you just usually when you will want to access your web applications, you go localhost forward, forward slash my site one. Hit enter. Oops, my site or my website? My website. Sorry, guys. My my website one and you see hello I am site one and this is how you will be actually storing any other web applications and how you will be accessing them actually you will just go to localhost and the name of directory which you will co create for your application if we would want to work with another application in another directory then you just create a new new folder and say my site two for example and here you could simply as well we can go to notepad let's say and i will just grab this code and draw copy i will create new file i will process hello i am site and let's put it call it site 2 or 222 two, two, whatever and let's save it as index file in now if you are saving we will be saving in this my site too and let's save it as index.php file index.php and index files are always in directories first files which are accessed by php by program and that's why i'm calling them index and i will show you why is this in a second so now we are in my site one if we refresh as you will see we are still here and as you see here guys we have my site too and if we will go now my local host my site to hit enter you see hello i am site too so all files now now you understand that all files for this application or this website you can store in one directory then you can store application uh, all files for another website you are creating in another directory and to access these websites you all you need to do from now on you just go localhost and type the directory name and as you see here is not that index file like you just go my site too and you don't need to type index.ph uh, sorry php index.php however this is the same thing because index files are the first files like i mentioned which are accessed in your directory that's why you don't really need to specify them when you are accessing that particular directory or particular folder actually in linux they are called directories that's why i'm calling them directories but in windows environment these are folders and yes guys this is how you access it and yes this is pretty much it and if you have any more questions about how to work with this uh, whole environment just let me know but localhost will direct you now to simply this and this is your local server where you can see always your all your projects all your websites and if you would want to access for example my site now from localhost you could click even here and it will direct you straight into your that website or website one click and you are in that website and simple as that and this all is on your local computer okay guys if you found this useful leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that bell button so you are notified about all my new videos and see you in my videos